Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Fish and Dive Hawaii where we give you all the best fishing and diving tips here in the Aloha State as well as some fishing and diving vlogs. So if you guys are new here, please subscribe below, click the bell notification icon and you'll be notified every single time we post a new video which is like every week, even twice a week now. So if you guys want to see some spear fishing action and some fishing action then yeah, feel free to subscribe. In today's episode, we are going over some lost files inside of my hard drive. This was a dive that happened sometime last year, and um, it was really interesting. I almost lost my spear gun and the fish, so um, yeah, you guys will see that. I'll walk you through exactly what was going on at the time. And I also got a new microphone, so if you guys like the new sound quality, please comment below. Just say, like, awesome or something like that, just so I know you guys enjoy the new upgraded sound all right so let's jump right into the episode Mic check one two <laughs> I don't know if you that's how you do audio tests anyways this is the new microphone that we have for the fish and dive Hawaii YouTube channel I pretty much use all of the money that YouTube paid me so far to buy this microphone and it's all thanks to you guys I know you guys really enjoy the spear fishing vlog so I really wanted to upgrade the microphone and just produce really high quality content for you guys because you guys are the support system for this channel so I just really want to thank you guys and again, leave something in the comments below if you guys can tell the difference already. So this is the first spearfishing vlog of 2019. It's been a really awesome year so far. Although this is some old footage that I really want to go into. Yeah, I'm really excited on what the new year has to bring. This spear gun I don't even own anymore, but I did load it right away. This is like the second or third drop of the dive and i may have mentioned this in previous videos but you guys want to make sure you load your spear guns right away because there are some big fish that come into feed especially around the afternoon time in my personal experience which is when this dive took place and you may get lucky shooting a big fish um right away you guys will see that in just a minute So about 15 to 20 minutes into my dive, I notice a big school of fish and usually when there's a bigger school of fish, there might be some uhus inside of the pile. So I'm just going to try and work um, them in right here. You guys will see, you're going to grab the reef, I'm hiding behind this little structure. I'm going to throw some sand right here try to see if we can bring in any more fish. You guys can see that right there. You can also grunt a little bit, that might help and you can also scratch a reef. So, there are some fish coming in. Um, I just want to see what's inside of the pile in the back. If there's going to be any uhus because that's what I'm targeting in today's dive. So on this next drop right here, I actually noticed a blue uhu on the last drop as I was resurfacing. So I moved up a little bit closer into a better hiding spot. As you guys can see, I'm going to take a drop straight down to the sand. I'm going to pull myself closer. So I'm hiding underneath this reef structure because the fish are about 10, 15 feet in front of me. And I'm going to try to call them in right now. I'm throwing sand. I'm scratching reef. I'm going to try to bring this fish in and you'll see it come up right now. shooting it it goes inside of the cave and this is when I almost lose my spear gun out of all my years of diving six plus years of diving this is the longest it's ever taken me to land a fish the most frustrated I probably ever have been 
and yeah. On the bright side is, my friend sold me his GoPro Hero 4 Black. Shout out to my buddy Marnie. Thank you, he even gave me this GoPro dual battery charger with it and an extra battery. So super stoked on my next spearfishing adventure. I'll be able to record it and share it with you guys. So back to the video. Right now I'm just trying to see what the best way is that I can take this fish out of this little cave. You guys can see there's a little opening and I can see the fish fighting inside of it but it's just too deep for me to reach inside and to grab it out and it's too narrow. So what I'm going to try to do is right now is try to pull my line out slowly. Hopefully it, whatever it's caught on it will get loose if I'm doing this and pull the fish out slowly. But Uhu's rip really easy so at any minute or at any second this fish can just kick really hard one time rip off and end up just dying somewhere so I do not want that to happen so I'm trying my hardest to land this fish so you guys can see it kicking inside of there and it's just chilling and I can't I cannot reach it it's just too narrow so I'm trying to see what the best angle is I can get it out of and I might even try to go on the other side and pull the fish out because I noticed there's a big opening on the right side of this little cave or rock structure. So I was able to pull the fish out of this side of the rock structure. Now my next goal here is to bring the fish, put it out of its misery so it doesn't kick off and die somewhere in a cave. So that's what we're doing now. Now the shaft, I have it in my hand, but the spear gun is stuck on the other side. So even when I do bring the fish, um, I'm not able to pull the spear gun out or the shaft out. So I'm just going to bring it, go back up, resurface for some air, retrieve the fish, and then try to get the spear gun out later. So my next step is to take the shaft outside of this little cave right here because these come pretty expensive. It's like a hundred bucks to replace it. Don't want to lose it. Gonna have to re-rig my whole gun. So I'm actually, I took the line off of my spear gun and I'm using my spear gun kind of like as an extension of my arm, trying to hook it underwater, like underwater fishing right here. <laughs> I'm trying to pull the shaft towards me while it's inside of this underwater cave. And then I finally get it after about 10 minutes of doing this. So after about 20-25 minutes of just trying to land that one fish and pull my spear gun out, I'm going to try to catch more fish here. Maybe not another Uhu, maybe something else. You'll see that little papil swim up right there, um, but I do not want to shoot it. Probably wait for another fish to come up, but nothing came up on this one particular drop. So I actually swam out a little bit further trying to see what other game was more outside in the deeper waters and I came across this nice channel and I found this little pile of moo. If you guys haven't seen that episode just click that link above. This in my opinion is the hardest fish to shoot in Hawaii. So this little rock right here I'm going to creep up inside of it, pull myself towards it. You have to hide really really good for moo or you have to have a really really long breath hold which I don't really have a super super long breath hold so I take advantage of hiding, take a shot and I'm missing on top of that little move. So 
so as I mentioned, this was a quick afternoon dive. Nice little collar right here, unicorn fish. Try to lead the shot, but I missed right there. So I'm already swimming in at this point. I pulled both my bands off, but I ended up putting this one back on because I ran into this little goldfish. So I'm tracking this goldfish, and what they like to do is hide into little rock structures if they're swimming in open water. And if you're lucky, they'll peek out like it did there, but I just had a low shot. All right, guys, successful dive today. Managed to shoot a big blue uhu, which I haven't shot in a while. So let's go ahead and look at it. I went ahead and washed all my gear. One thing you guys need to make sure you guys do every single time, especially your spear gun. And then I got this nice big blue right here. As you can see, it's pretty solid. Bought four shakas. That's how you judge the length of the fish. <laughs> and I haven't shot a blue in a while, as I was saying. And um, yeah, stoked on it. Gotta clean it up and cook it, probably bake it, or make like papillo nuggets. Okay.